I guess it's our Terrell Owens comment of the week, and that's not really fair because for the most part, now this year he's perked up a little bit, bit again with the talk and the rest of it. For the most part, he's been a pretty good uh, working teammate. But I've listened and watched analysts and listened and read about experts and about yesterday when he had a blow up on the sidelines going off and then his press conference where he was talking about I, I, me, me. That's my problem. No, he didn't say, well, it's the coach's fault. I should, they should call this play or it's this guy's fault. They should call this play. But he did it in an indirect way, okay? And that's just the problem with selfish football players. Terrell Owens is a hell of a football player. And I've been on his side all year long. I have. You know, gone up and down. Everybody goes up and down with T.O. But you know what? I, I, I support him and say he's competitive and he's passionate. First of all, those explosions on the sideline, yes, they happen a lot of the times. Guys arguing, guys arguing. But if you've ever noticed about T.O., he loves it so much to make sure the camera's on him. That most guys will go do their arguing over where nobody's looking or where there's not a camera. But T.O.'s got to know that cameras follow him around all the time. So what does he do? He makes sure that he's loud and calling out coaches and calling out Ray Sherman. It's just a simple disrespect thing. That's all. You know, you want to go loud and yell, go off. We all do. If you're not a competitor, you don't yell and scream ever. That, 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 that means you're a loser. And he's not. He's a competitor. But there comes a point in time when you make your point and shut up. You make your point to Ray Sherman, yell, scream, get it out of you, and shut up. But up and back and up to the camera, back in your face, looking at your teammates. There's got to come a point in time, one of these teammates is going to say, dude, I've had enough. Okay, this is a great football player, a Hall of Famer, and a wonderful talent. But you know what? There comes a point in time when, dude, we just got beat. We were beating the Pittsburgh Steelers. We just threw an interception. Shut up. We've heard it. Okay? And then afterwards, and I know he didn't direct and say, that guy's fault, that guy's fault. But in an indirect way, he was basically playing, I confess, it's his fault. I was open 12 yards off, ran my route. That's all I can do. He threw it to the other guy, and it was an interception. You know, those things can be so divisive. And it's T.O. The thing is, and here's the, there's a good and a bad to this. The bad is that, you know, it wins enough where you get to the point at this time the Cowboys don't need that. Heck, they're dysfunctional enough. They don't need that right now. It, it would have been awesome for him to say, you know, crap happens. You know what? If I, whether I was open or not, it's tough to play quarterback making those decisions, blah, blah, blah. But, or take Tony behind closed doors and air the laundry then. I just, but the, the good thing is, is it for the teammates? They know. They know this is him, that he's going to blow up, that he's going to talk you know, some, some crap about us that he's going to go off. And I love his passion. I hate the way he chooses to, to, to let it out. I love his competitiveness. I hate the fact that if he doesn't get the ball and they, if, they, if he doesn't get the ball, if he gets the ball and they win, everything's great. If he doesn't get the ball and they win, he's pissed. If he doesn't get the ball and they lose, he's pissed. If he gets the ball and they lose, he's okay because he got his. But this is a great player. But you know what? They just don't need it. Wrong time. Because the Cowboys are going to struggle to make the playoffs anyway. Was he open if he had a guy 12 yards off? Yeah. Could it have been man coverage? Yeah. But while he was not saying, you know what, this guy's fault, this guy's fault, indirectly, simply by saying, well, I was open. I had man coverage. Talk to the coaches. Quarterback threw it the other way. What's that saying? If you're Tony Romo, if you're the team, and Romo played awful, okay? He, was, he, played, he played awful. But that being said, you know what? When Terrell drops the ball that hits him in the chest, is Romo supposed to go kick him in the teeth and say, hey, man, what's wrong? Can't you do it? Start ranting and raving. I know that's T.O.'s M.O., but you don't have to like it. And like I said, go off and do your thing, and then go over and be quiet, and maybe the other way around, maybe you would shock the world and your teammates if you just let it go because you great talent. And I've been saying since I've come in to, to broadcasting that T.O. doesn't need to tell us how good he is or say all that because we're watching the tape we know. I understand his frustration. I'd be frustrated, too. But I just don't think at a time that those things, when you're airing it in the press conference, you know what? Don't tell us media what we want to hear. You don't have to explode. Just keep it quiet. Say no comment once. Even though we may, we may say, oop, he's mad, let us think you're mad. But you've got to take care of your teammates first. And I don't think in his press conference or on the field he did that. Frustration, yes, I love his competitiveness. Nah, that's not what I want for my team when we're struggling. I've got to have a guy who can get mad but get mad in the right way and let us know. Because everybody in the building and everybody who watched TV knew who screwed up yesterday. Everybody did. Nobody needed to be reminded of it. Sean Salisbury here for Open Sports. So you think you can tackle a pro? There's only one way to find out. Click on fantasy at opensports.com.